In this problem, we have to show that the sequence satisfies the recurrence relation. Let's go ahead and work this out. Solution. So all we have to do is start by finding the nth term of the sequence, and then we basically have to plug it into this and make sure that it's true. So this here is the nth term it's given. So we're going to start by letting s sub n be equal to negative 1 to the n times n factorial. And this is valid for n greater than or equal to 0. And note this does check. Like if you plug in 0, you'll get, you'll get s sub 0, and which is negative 1 to the 0, 0 factorial. And that's just 1 times 1, so it's 1. So uh, you know, it does actually work for 1 and for the rest of them. It's nice that it's actually given to us. OK, so now we just have to plug it into this and make sure everything is valid. So for k greater than or equal to 1, And so I'm going to start with the right-hand side because it's more complicated. And so chances are we'll be able to rewrite this uh, because there's a k here. So let's write, that, write down that side. And the only thing we can do now is actually plug in the formula for our sequence. So this is negative k. And then s sub k minus 1. Well, all we do is replace all of the n's with k minus 1's. So this is negative 1 to the k minus 1. And then the n factorial will become a k minus 1 factorial. Uh, you might notice that we can combine stuff here. Um, the k and the k minus 1 can be combined to give us a k factorial. So I'm going to go ahead and do two things here. I'm going to take this k and put it here. And I'm going to write this negative sign as a negative 1 like this. So negative 1, negative 1, to the k minus 1, and then k, and then k minus 1 factorial, OK? And the reason I wrote this negative sign as a negative 1 is because we now have negative 1 to the 1 times negative 1 to the k minus 1. And so when the uh, bases are the same, you add the exponents. So um, we end up getting 1 plus k minus 1, so that's negative 1 to the k. And then k times k minus 1 factorial is just k factorial. Oh, but look at this. This is equal to s sub k. So we have shown that this sequence satisfies this recurrence relation. And that completes the problem. I hope this video has been helpful.